I'm so excited. Brothers and sisters of the Alliance, I would share with you glad tidings. Doubtless spurred on by news of the siege of Kashram Orions, the Maelstrom has struck a double blow. Kashram Ossidens and Kashram Marinum are now under blockade. Phase two of Operation Archon is a success. Report tells that the Garleans offered fierce resistance, but that the Admiral yielded them not one ilm. That's my Admiral. With Ossidens, Marinum, and Orions thus suppressed, the third phase may begin in earnest. Even as we speak, the Order of the Twin Adder moves to block the railway leading hither from Kashram Sentry, and that can mean but one thing. The hour has come to strike at the heart of the Garlean invasion force, Kashram Meridanium in the den of the Black Wolf. My fellow Aorzeans, I am Infilia, mistress of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. The music, there exist myriad barriers that divide us, those of race and nation, language and creed, to name but a few. Such barriers serve to isolate us from our neighbors, yet they also serve to define who we are. Shorn of them, there would be little to distinguish one from another, and the rich variety of our lives would give way to sterile orthodoxy. These barriers can never truly be broken down, of course, not so long as there's liberty in the world, but they can be transcended. Verily, we do so now in coming together for this grand endeavor to fight side by side in defense of our shared home. Before me stands the adventurer Twerk Yulis. You all know him as the man who will lead the unit tasked with destroying the Ultima weapon. We Scions know a different twerk, however. We know him as a dear friend who has endured untold hardship on our behalf, a true hero who has ever blazed a path for us to follow. And why do I tell you this? I tell you, friends, because it is time for us to blaze a path for him! Our objective is to wreak such havoc outside the walls of Meridanum as to afford Twerk and his comrades the time they need to disable the Magitech field generator within. With the path thus cleared, we may finally turn our minds to the true goal of this operation, the destruction of the Ultima weapon. All troops, prepare for battle! I fear I can't accompany you this time. The unenviable task of facilitating communications between our forces has been entrusted to the ironworks, you see. Know, though, that I will be praying for your safe return. See that you come back to us, my friend. May the crystal bless you and keep you. We will suffer the Black Wolf to prowl our lands no more. Let us teach the hunter what it is to be hunted. Forward, comrades, for Aorzea! <laughs> Go now, Torque, and bring us one step closer to the dawn. So excited! Diverting all power to cannons. Blast him, baby, blast him. Look at us! My lord is quite taken with you and the power you possess, the echo naturally I could not help but wonder whom this prince among men might be, only to discover that you are but another adventurer, no better than the multitude. 
Yet in spite of this, the masses hold you their champion and shower honors upon your head. It defies all reason. How is it that you could be such a thorn in our side? Whatever, wherever you appear, you leave havoc in your wake. You even slew Ridditon, one of our very finest. Well, I will not speculate. Truth be told, I couldn't care less how you have done these things. What matters to me is the fact that you have done them. Mm, if you are allowed to continue, you will eventually deprive me of all that I have toiled for, all that is mine by right. My minions, my comrades, even my Lord Gaius. Well, you cannot have him. His dreams and ambitions, his body and soul, they are mine. Do you hear me? All mine. I lost everything once before. I will not suffer it to happen again. You simp too close to the sun, milady. I will kill you, adventurer. Only your death can bring me peace. I will avenge the waking sands, you son of a gun. Get wrecked, son! No, it's happening all over again. Please, I cannot bear it. Don't take him away from me. My Lord Gaius. That's for Naraxia. Another pool fool who craved Gaius' affection over all else. May her soul no rest. Tis a miracle no harm has come to you, my friend. One for which I will happily give thanks. And thanks to your fine diversionary work, we've succeeded in bringing down the generator tower and with it the Magitech field. The way to the Praetorium now lies open. The only problem is we can't reach it on foot. Nay, we'll need to take the Enterprise. I left her at the Cerulean Processing Plant, so let's regroup there. This is it, twerk. The final confrontation awaits. Biggs and Wedge, my boys. Look at this good looking group of adventurers. So here we are. The Ultima weapon will almost certainly be housed in the depths of the complex. This is it, my friend. Oh, there's no way this is it. Okay. Uh, uh huh. Uh huh. Gaius. Ah, said my boy, you are late. There is something I always meant to tell you, yet the time never seemed right. It concerns your father. What of him? I am your father? In the winter of his years, Midas came to a poor as part in Meteor. He told me that he wanted nothing more than to wash his hands of the whole sordid business. But he did not wash his hands of it. He helmed the project until the day it killed him. Come now, Sid, you must know that he did not have the luxury of choice. By the time he realized his heir, it was too late. Meteor had him completely in its thrall. Shortly before his transformation, mayhaps sensing that something was amiss, your father confided to me all the regrets of his life. life most of them concerned you. Early on in your career, he realized that while you had the talent for devising armaments, it would never fulfill you. Long before you knew your own mind, he saw that you would be far happier using your knowledge for peaceful purposes, and the thought touched him. He was a changed man for it, though. Ooh, he could not let it show. 
You ripped open walls in this place just so you could say this to me? What is it you want, Gaius? I want you at my side, Said, Take up your father's mantle and become the Empire's lead engineer. It is your destiny. My father had a change of heart. You said so yourself. Besides, I have long known my destiny, and I assure you, it lies not with the Empire. A pity. And what of you, adventurer? Will you consider making common cause with me? With your powers joined to mine, we might do much for this realm. Together, we could bring order to Orzia and usher in a lasting peace. Get fucked. <laughs> That's right. No, and I expect no better answer than this. So be it. It was your strength that made me proffer my hand in friendship, and it is your strength that makes me proffer now my blade. Save as an ally, you are too dangerous to be let remain. Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. You're not going to fight us yourself, coward. You coward. Run, Sid, or stay. It makes no matter. You cannot escape the past. Guys, wait! Damn it. <sighs> Sid, take a step back, buddy. That bulkhead is composed of a special alloy. Extremely tough. Ordinary fire won't leave a mark, I'm afraid. You'll need to divert all power to the Magitech cannon as I did at Castra Meridanum. The armor's core is like to expire from the strain, but there's no help for it, to it if we want to press on. Now listen well. Press the control. Zzz, engage. Zillary. Then fire away. Don't mind the warning lights. Zzz, zzz, zzz. Easy girl. Easy girl. You're a natural at this. All right, the way's clear, but it's just you and your own two feet now, so be careful. You were good, Maggie. You were so good. What are we at? Huh? Huh? You have been leaving a fine mess in your wake adventure. I was wondering when you'd show up. This is a large room for, the, for fighting one little guy. Is someone there? Yeah. Garland, old friend, how it warms the heart to hear your voice again after all these years. Nero, is that you? You sound well. It would seem the savage land agrees with you. The highest ranking tribunus of the 14th. It was you all this time. Tell me, Garland, how long do you intend to keep all the glory for yourself? Uh, what? You've lost me. Don't play the fool with me. Ever since the Academy, I've been condemned to live in your shadow. By all objective measure, I was the more talented of the two of us, yet that fact counted for naught beside your privileged birth. You were admired as a young prodigy simply because your father was the great Midas Nan Garland. Oh my god. When you defected, I felt sure my star would finally rise. But by disappearing, you acquired the status of a legend. Your reputed genius gaining credence merely by dint of your absence. Instead of cursing you for a traitor, the people actually came to think of you more fondly. To this day, you are still the young prodigy of Magitech. 
Oh, somebody's jealous. I mean, while I've ever been made feel second rate, I have continued to serve our nation faithfully whenever I fail to excel why it is only to be expected. Yet when I exceed all reasonable expectations, people proclaim that I walk in the footsteps of the great Sid Nan Bloody Garland. Oh, poor baby's jealous. Nero, I, I don't know what to say. It matters not a whit what I achieve. Your existence has rendered mine worthless. Even Lord Van Belsar saw fit to offer you a place at his side, and this in spite of your betrayal. To extend any such offer to me, the man who has remained loyal to him for all these years? Why, no, he did not. Long have I endured this injustice, but no more. Lord Van Belsar is in the midst of activating the fully powered Ultima weapon. It is my magnum opus, the creation that will win me the recognition I am due. I will not let anyone interfere. Nero, what are you? Poor little baby's jealous. Ever since I first set foot in this benighted land, I have watched you. Every move you have made, every step you have taken, every breath you have made, I'll be watching you. You have failed icons, a feat made possible by the Echo, a peculiar power which shields you from their corrupting influence. It is of little wonder what my lord has taken an interest in you. As have I, if truth be told, it is my desire to harness your power for use in the Ultima weapon. Good luck. <laughs> All right, bro. It's hammer time. Come on. Should I succeed, Lord Van Belsar will surely take notice. Beside this, Garland's achievements will be as child's play. Come, adventure, and yield to me the secrets of your power. I'm going to yield these nuts on your chin. How pathetic. This changes nothing. Uh -huh. <laughs> the ultimate weapon is activated and it brims with the power of icons. Nothing can withstand its might. Uh huh. Are you all right? Yeah. What if Nero fled? Damn it. In the instant prior to the blackout, the instruments detected a massive power surge from the deepest chamber. Uh-huh. Guys are certain to be there. We have no time to waste. Word arrived in the Alliance a short while ago. It seems the Order of the Twin Adder has completed its blockade of Castrum Sentry. What hands they can spare are hastening this way even as we speak, and likewise for the Maelstrom. All that's left is to destroy the Ultima Weapon. I should warn you, the chamber which houses the target appears to be saturated with etheric energies. There's bound to be heavy interference. All right. Even if you, we lose contact, you must go on. Just don't do anything I wouldn't do, all right? <laughs> it's going to save the day. Don't you worry. It's going to save the day. Don't you worry. Random voice acting? Take the lid down, and you should find yourself in the chamber of the Ultima Weapon. This is a big lift. We're gonna be in a big area down here. Fighting on the lift? Let's go! 
tell me, for whom do you fight? For Eorzea, baby. And for Puss. Do you believe in Eorzea? Yes. Eorzea's unity is forged of falsehoods. Its city-states are built on deceit. And its faith is an instrument of deception. It is not but a cobweb of lies. To believe in Eorzea is to believe in nothing. In Eorzea, the beast tribes often summon gods to fight in their stead. Though your comrades only rarely respond in kind. Which is strange, is it not? Are the twelve otherwise engaged? I was given to understand they were your protectors. If you truly believe them, your guardians, why do you not repeat the trick that served you so well in Cartano and call them down? Because we don't need them, motherfucker! They got me! They will answer, so long as you lavish them with crystals and gorge them on ether. Your gods are no different from those of the beasts, icons, everyone. Except but this. And you will see how Eorzea's faith is bleeding the land dry. Nor is this unknown to your masters, which prompts the question, why do they cling to these false deities? What drives even men of learning, even the great Louis Swan, to grovel at their feet? The answer? Your masters lack the strength to do otherwise! For the world of man to mean anything, man must own the world. To this end, he hath fought ever to raise himself through conflict, to grow rich through conquest. And when the dust of battle settles, it is ever the strong who dictate the fate of the weak. Super Saiyan turned his armor gold. All right. All right. Power can rightly steer the course of civilization. And in this land of creeping mendacity, that one truth will prove its salvation. Too bad you are not the man of power. That's, uh, that's me. Champion of Eorzea, face me. Your defeat shall serve as proof of my readiness to rule. It is only right that I should take your realm, but none among you has the power to stop me. Oh, honey, you got a big storm coming. This storm of cheeks is about to be thunderclapping all over you. walk away we're just gonna let him walk away why we just we're just gonna let him walk to the the big weapon that we probably need to like keep him away from Allow me, then. 
hero. To do that, which you will not. Is he? Oh, he's going full Megazord on this then. The Porta Decumana. to me witness me come on come on but the ultimate weapon is all powerful why does my enemy still stand we're just built different can his strength truly be so great yeah it is the blessing of light that confounds you Bruh. La Brea. Dan Cred. Your foe acts under the protection of the crystal he bears. Uh-huh. I was wondering if you'd show up. So, this is what empowers him. Beyond mortal limits. If you are to prevail, the Hammer of Darkness must needs be brought to bear upon the Shield of Light. Mm. And so it shall, for the Ultima Weapon is host to a power of which you are as yet ignorant. Oh no. Uh-huh. Speak plainly, Asian. The Heart of Sabik. It is the weapon's core. An enigma whose surface even the vaunted scholars of ancient Alec failed to scratch. The magic within has lain dormant for eons. Uh huh. Of what magic do you speak? A spell without parallel. Ultima. Guys, this is all of us right now. Like, what are you talking about, bro? I the life force of the primals for no other reason but to quicken the core. For the true power of the Ultima weapon lies within its now beating heart. Mm. Brea, what have you done? This is one long elevator ride. No more than was necessary. For my god to be reborn. Uh huh. Damn you, Asia. The hour is at hand. Behold, but a sliver of my god's power. Uh huh. From the deepest pit of the seven hells to the very pinnacle of the heavens, the world shall tremble. Unleash Ultima! Holy shit. Shit. <laughs> Such devastation. This was not my intention. Oh, Hydalin, it seems the task of keeping your champion alive has exhausted what strength you had left. 
Van Belsar. Your enemy's shield is broken. The rest I leave to you. We will speak later, Asian. No, you won't. No, you won't. But first, I must deal with you. The question of who is mightier remains. Come, adventurer. Let us find the answer together. Together. The music right now. Okay, we just thrust it into. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. All right, good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, no! <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Let's go, Heidelin! Limit break, baby! Come on! Like someone's no longer Super Saiyan. Heed me. The subjects of a weak ruler must needs look to a higher power for providence, and their dependence comes at a cost to the realm. Mm hmm. The misguided elevate the frail, and the frail lead the people astray. Sounds a lot like you right now, bud. Unless a man of power. Rests control. The cycle will never be broken. You, you of all people, must see the truth in this. You who have the strength to rule. Get murked, son. Oh, no. Dude, the ultimate weapon theme was was good. That was a good theme. Okay, yeah, I was wondering if you'd be back. Pathetic. I mean, agreed. You boasted of unrivaled power. You were entrusted with the ultimate weapon. The ultimate magic. And still, you failed. So much for the glory of man. Mm. The growing imbalance afflicting the planet must be redressed. Uh -huh. If it is permitted to worsen, the very laws of existence, both etheric and physical, will be warped beyond all recognition. Know you the root of this corruption? Heidelin! Don't talk about... Don't talk about Heidelin like that. Like a parasite, she must be burned out. If the planet is to recover. Dude, this was yours. This was your doing. And not, but the return of the one true God will ensure her complete excision. Yet to pave the way for the master's return, a chaotic confluence of untold proportions must needs be brought about. And that will necessitate the presence of the primals. Mm -mm. Needless to say, both you and your scion accomplices cannot be suffered to interfere in this endeavor. Hey, what you gonna do about it, Lahabra? 
You will not leave this place alive. Give me fan cred back, you son of a bitch. of light warrior of light Fervent hope shines forth the light. Where are you at? Come back. Get him. Get him. No, I'm going nowhere. I'm going nowhere. I'm going nowhere. So cool. If thou wouldst pierce the shadows, make thee a blade of light. <laughs> ah, it's like when we first started, when we first created our character. Fucking go! My boy. My boy. Come on. 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 Come on.
Come on. Come on. Come on. Thank red. Maggie says, I got one more in me. I got one more in me. This dude's still alive? And so my conquest ends, Sid. In smoke and ashes. Dude is not still alive. Go Maggie, go Maggie, go Maggie, go Maggie. Here. Darkness hath fled before the unclosed brilliance of thy spirit. Yet it lingereth still beyond the sight of men in forgotten corners of the world. In the depths of the abyss yet resideth the Dark One, watchful ever, till this evil be cast out. Never shall the world know aught but a passing peace. <sighs> Yet, for the present, a gentle light shineth o'er the realm of Eorzea. So beautiful! With thee at its heart. From sparkling moat shall it swell to glorious sun. And all the world shall bask in its warmth. We're swelling up, baby! Blessings and joy be upon thee. Go forth, my child, and be as a beacon of hope for Eorzea and the lands beyond through all the days of thy life. My lady, all Twin Adder units have fallen back to the outer perimeter. The flames have completed their withdrawal, General. Admiral, all hands accounted for. I'm glad Sid made it out. He's still in there. Sid, has there been no word? <sighs> Nothing. Nothing at all. Damnation! Papa Limo. He's going to make it, I know he is. That's right, Ida. Ida is right. We must have faith. Sid, can they not be evacuated aboard the Enterprise? So much fire and explosions going on, milady. That adventurer and the Scions are as the Warriors of Light reborn. We cannot abandon them to their fate. Not again. I wholeheartedly agree. But flying into the midst of that would only add to the fireworks. Yep. Yep. 
There must be something we can do. Please, Mother Hydaelyn. Please light his way through the darkness. Oh, she's lighting it, all right. She's lighting it. Look into the light, my child. If thou would see thy companions return safe to thee, reach out to them now. There! <laughs> Yay! Our warrior of light. Yes, the hero returns. Look, Thancred is with him. Right, we got Thancred. Thank the twelve. Oh no! I'm sorry, you stole a. Welcome <laughs> home. Almost got us killed that one time, remember? Now, now, we both know that was your fault. Thank the Twelve, we're safe. Mind your horns there, man bull. Ah, mayhap when you mind your manners. Though the crystal that bound Thancred is no more, I doubt we can say the same of La Habrea. And even if we could, we know that he is not alone. Confounded Assians. Their god may be unknown to us, but their zeal is unquestionable. Suffice it to say, it would be folly to assume that they no longer pose a threat. Nevertheless, He's awake and conscious! For now, we must savor what peace we have won, however ephemeral. Do you see, Grandfather? Our first step towards realizing the dream for which you gave your life. Friends, the dread night of Imperial tyranny, an Asian machination, is ended. A new day now begins in Eorzea. True to their name, the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, along with our champion, have delivered us from darkness. Let their shared victory serve to remind us of our shared history. And let their bravery in the face of adversity inspire future generations. Doubt not, the realm will need bravery in the days to come. Old rifts threaten to divide us within our walls, while hordes of beastmen claw at our gates. And though the Black Wolf be slain, the rest of the pack remains. Yet no foe need we fear, so long as we stand as one. So long as the Scion stand for peace. So long as our champion stands fast. For there exists no adversity over which we may not jointly prevail. No longer can we turn a blind eye to the suffering of our allies. No nation stands alone. If one should fall, so shall we all. Eorzea is our shared home. For any one of us to know peace, so too must our neighbor. 
just as we join in solidarity before you this day, so too shall our grand companies be joined henceforth to strive not only for the good of mere nations, but for the good of all the realm. Change will not come overnight. Yet I foresee a day, not so very far from now, when the lines that divide our lands fade, and all of Eorzea is one. It has been but five short years since the Battle of Cartano. Five years since the advent of the Seventh Umbral Era. No victory, however sweet, can wash away our bitter sorrows. No triumph can reclaim those we lost. Yet do not presume you honor them by dwelling on the past. It was not the past they fought for. You would repay their sacrifice by looking to the future. A future united as the Warriors of Light united in the Champion. Now is the time for us to rise as one, bearing all of Eorzea on our shoulders. Five years ago, Eorzea bore witness to the end of the Sixth Astral Era. Now, the Seventh Umbral Era draws to a close, yet we come together not to glory in its end, but to mark a new beginning. <laughs> the fucking pistol, man. Let it be writ that, that on this day, by, by the light of the crystal, Eorzea ushered in a new era. The seventh astral era is come. And thus is ours a realm reborn. A realm reborn, they said the thing. They said the thing. So we beat the game, right? We're all done. On to the next game, right? Are we gonna play World of Warcraft next? Or uh, Star Wars The Old Republic? Or, yep, uninstall, uninstall. Cool, 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 cool. It feels so good. This was such a fun game. Sorry, in terms of a realm, base a realm reborn 2.0 was so fun. And that just makes me so excited for like, everything else because everyone's always saying like you know a realm reborn not as like a slog compared and this was so good and i just i i really enjoyed the hell out of this and just what a fun like ending that was like that was boom 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 they threw so much at you and it was just so good i feel like i got more story in the past two months than i did in all of warcraft and its expansions because I did actually. Hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Oh! What is it? Did you hear that? There's no time to spare. Where is it coming from?
dread tidings, chaos and carnage! It is an abomination! A primal! A primal has awakened! Uh-huh, uh-huh. Who is this dude? One other's move star. The others are long. Who? Fanza look pike he had Saldorn Zul. Ukudorn. Not a question of whether Aorzeus champion shall yield, but of when. Move. They only cause the pause right ball. Each passing moment we draw closer to the reckoning. What of them? True God. To Zodiac. And thus did dawn break on a realm reborn. <laughs> But where there is light, there is always shadow. The Archons have conducted a preliminary investigation into the origin of the roar that rang out during the celebration. Their findings strongly suggest that a new primal has appeared. It sounds like an old primal has appeared. The roar generated a distinctive wave pattern in the ether, a pattern observed only once before in history, five years ago to be precise. I should like to think it mere coincidence, yet we cannot discount that possibility. Well, I trust I need say no more. At great sacrifice, we have delivered Aorzea from the threat posed by the Empire and the Primals, and thereby secured peace. We cannot well allow the realm to be plunged into chaos once more. You have given your all for our cause, risking life and limb on I know not how many occasions. Yet our struggle continues, and we need you now, no less than before. Please continue to stand with us, and together we shall safeguard the future of the realm of this very star. Flying unlocked, I forgot about flying.